today we have a person who is going to speak about this book, Shoreless Infinite. He's an inspirational speaker, a cancer warrior, a writer who's written over 40 books. He's translated into 30 different languages. He's one of the persons who's admitted in the Hall of Fame for the Public Relations Council of India, a person who's been invited to the Jaipur Literary Fest. He was a general manager of communications at Steel Authorities of India Limited at Rurkela, and he took voluntary retirement and is doing yeoman work in the field of inspirational speaking, writing, and public relations. Please welcome with a big round of applause Mr. Ramendra Kumar to give the introduction of the book Shoreless Infinite. After Mr. Rajiv? Yeah? Mr. Rajiv calling me is like first calling Amitabh Bachchan and then calling Chanki Pandey. <laughs> so uh, I have engineered this uh, podium here because my gorgeous wife thinks I look more handsome behind the podium. So to uh, first, Namaskara. And uh, I would like to say, uh, to go back in time, not very long ago, on the 7th of March at 10.52, I was introduced to Gita in the 2020 PRCI Global Conclave at Bangalore. An hour later, she and I were dancing to Bhattami's Dil in the auditorium just before the plenary session. So that was the connect. I loved her effervescence, vibrancy, and above all, her chutzpa. After shifting to Bangalore, my family and I came to know her a lot better. And she epitomizes one quality which I value the most, the quality of empathy. Barack Obama has said that our society suffers from an empathy deficit. And we need more Geetas to correct this balance. She has become our family's go-to person in the best of times and the worst of times. As I was struggling with cancer, you know, three septic shocks, 10 rounds of chemo, five rounds of radiation, uh, 40 days in the ICU, four major surgeries, I think almost on a week basis or on a daily basis, Geeta and my wife, my gorgeous wife, sorry, Madhvi were in touch with each other. And the first uh, online session after my cancer surgery, uh, I had invited Geeta. And as she started talking about me, she broke down. That is our connect. Sureless infinite is not one of those I, me, myself kind of tomes, you know, full of statistics that I was born like this under the mango tree or this and that. You know, those details which bore you. Uh, it, rather, it is a delectable, delightful, and reflective collection of slice of life incidents which you can find in the middles of newspapers or Reader's Digest. And the writing is charming, like Gita, honest and insightful. It offers a sneak preview of the time she has lived through with persp uh, perspicacity and a candor which is very, very rare. In the piece I'm quoting, uh, why I wrote my autobiography, she says, through this book, I wish to express my gratitude to all the people who have been responsible for what I am today. It is a Thanksgiving autobiography. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen a more beautiful description of an autobiography than a Thanksgiving auto autobiography. And this defines Gita. Free, frank, fearless. A lady with both style and substance, guts and gumption, wit and wisdom. I hope Gita, you're not blushing. <laughs> In another segment she writes, this is very, very important. This is something which has really touched my heart. I grew up singing the song, there's never any trouble just to smile. And if there's any trouble, it will vanish like a bubble. If only you take the trouble just to smile. She goes on to say, my appa and uh, amma, insisted that I smile at everyone and be pleasant and cheerful. Smiling not only became a practice, a habit, a routine, a skill, but an attitude for me. A big round of applause here, please. Not for me, for Geeta. So this smile, which is on the cover of the book, if I may let out a secret, inspired me to write a poem dedicated to Geeta. 
our inspiration regret of the past anxiety about the future caught between the two living for me was a torture i had wealth i had power i had prestige as well as fame yet i seemed to be a loser in life's complex game i had always fought for more and never settled for less but now when i had it all i was still in a mess what was my blunder where had i gone wrong this is all i kept thinking as i dragged my feet along just then i met you geeta your smile was so rare i stopped in my tracks and continued to stare shankar ji please pardon me and you were like a vision a ray of sunlight you seem to me the epitome of all that was happy and bright you were living life in the present moment and the past and the future you knew what they exactly meant yesterday was over and tomorrow yet to come today was the reality one had to face with a plump happiness was not a chance but a matter of choice ladies and gentlemen happiness was not a chance but a matter of choice from deep within me within me i heard my soul's voice geeta you are to me and many a truly amazing inspiration geeta you are to me and many a truly amazing inspiration you motivate each one of us to make every moment a celebration to make every moment a celebration thank you